Between the guitar kid from Hudson and the Queen of St. Mary's choir In a little house on Lake Street, the second child of four Looking back now we had nothing, and who could ask for more? Excited to be in Boston because uh, I've been here a few times in the past couple of years, but it's always been for like 20 minute opener spots, and I never get to spend enough time with you guys. So I've been really excited to be here and get to play a, a full set. And thank you guys for showing up tonight. What a what a, a blessing and a, a great evening. Thank you guys so much for being. Here. Halloween, I'd be Bruce Springsteen. How does it look? <laughs>
But I'm getting sick and tired Of living on the surface And in between the lines I'm going down To the bottom of the sea Until I found The deepest part of me And if I drown And some know that I died free Searching for my So bring on all the monsters that lie sleeping in the blue. Thank you. 
back down And I know I'm the burden It's keeping you on the ground That you hope for And you're right You may be on their change And maybe there's not much here to love But maybe you can love me anyway Cause I've got my demons Baby, I've got my pride You've got songs are off my, uh, I got a new self-titled record that came out a couple of months ago that, thank you. You know, I'll be honest, I was hoping there was going to be just at least a few people applauding for that, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> thank you for fulfilling my dreams. So a lot of these songs are off that new record and uh, this is one of those new tunes. I've got a amazing five-year-old baby girl back home and music is one of her favorite things in the whole world and uh 
here about a year and a half ago, I was hanging out in the kitchen, I was playing some music, and I had quickly decided that I had, my music was way too depressing and sad for a five-year-old girl. <laughs> and uh, I needed to remedy that, so I started playing this happy little chord progression, and she ended up really liking it, so I kind of wrote this song in the kitchen with her, and this kind of bizarro world story of a way that I may have met my wife, but it absolutely happened nothing like this. Came out. <laughs> but they both really love it, so it made the record in that. Uh, I like singing. Hey Mary, it's alright if you want to crash my place tonight. Sleep it off to the morning light, hey honey, that's just fine. I'll camp out on the floor, climb in the bed, I'll shut the door. And pull the curtains all in the morning, the sun don't hit your eyes. And baby, real soon, rain on the river, drop by drop, is gonna flood. The levee's gonna blow before you know it, I'll make you fall in love. Make you fall in love yeah. well, Hail Mary, look who's up How's about a pouring coffee cup A buttermilk biscuit and sunny side up. Yeah, that should treat you right but Tell me all about this guy Played your heart and made you cry Cause I'm out to the moon rising Make you crack a smile And baby, real slow Rain on the river Drop by drop It's gonna flood The is gonna blow Before you know it I'll make you fall in love Make you fall in love Someday I'll sing you this song And you know I knew all along And real soon, rain on the river Drop by drop, it's gonna flood Let me you guys get to watch me tune my guitar. It's really uh, entertaining. I'm going to warn you. A wise man once told me it's better to take 20 awkward seconds to tune your guitar than put an audience through three and a half minutes of an untuned song. <laughs> I think that's true. Be 
beat up out of tune guitar They would play that thing so good That if you heard it sing you would have thought it was a woman in a choir Shook his hips on the TV screen Concerts are like speed dates, and we're getting to know each other as fast as we can. I'm trying to figure out if this is working. I'm enjoying the evening. I hope that you are. Well, I have family here, so I don't know if that metaphor works. Most of the time it does. I'm glad you guys are here. I've got a 
this is a song off my new record. Um, it's a single right now. Uh, I put this record out with this uh, with this label called uh, Rounder Records, and there's some Rounder Records people here tonight, and I appreciate them coming out. It, uh, I waited until I was 32 to sign a record deal, and it ended up being about 20 minutes away from where I was born, was where this label originated. So I think life is kind of funny that way. But here's the single off this uh, self-titled record. It's called Holy Day. south of Nashville now. Uh, about three years ago, we moved out of the city. 
our life slowed down in a really beautiful way and we get to look out. We have this awesome back porch. We used to look out at nothing and uh, I wrote the song one day kind of sitting in that environment looking at my beautiful family and being really grateful for what I have and where we've come and it made me think back to when I, I met my wife about 11, 12 years ago and I was driving this horrible little car called a 91 Mazda 323 and it was a little white car. I bought it when I was a sophomore in high school for $300 from a, a preacher and uh, my friends called it the egg because it's literally just a white ugly circle of a car. They only give you one side view mirror because that's all they could afford to put on it. I thought for years that someone had just you know, you know, hit it and it had fallen off, but it turns out that it comes like that because it's just as bare bones as you can get a car. And my wife makes fun of me because she told me when we were dating that she could hear me, you know, from two miles away because it was so loud. And it turns out that's because the whole time I owned the car, it was broken and I didn't know that because this is all I do right here. This is all I know. I don't know anything about cars. But I bought that car for $300 as a sophomore in high school and it lasted me till I was a, a a senior in college and married and I never put any money into that damn thing and it lasted me the whole time and for some reason my wife married a broke ass musician in a 91 Mazda <laughs> but it it worked out well because now I have a super <laughs> Bucket override, I'm rolling. A duct tape just to keep it going. You could be my greatest treasure, baby. I would spend forever holding your love like a miracle. But you should know that I got one acre of land. I'm the son of a rambling man, and the only thing I ever Hammer with the damn was a fender in a rock and roll band. I can't pull an old car apart. But I can fix a broken heart. And we could build a dream right where we stand. A one acre land. It don't take a lot and I do it. When you really get down to it We got four walls and a patch of planet True love we can fit right in Just enough cash that we're covered Something in the oven for supper A screen porch we can sit around Watch the sun go down Over our one acre land I'm the son of a rambling man And the only thing I ever hammered with a damn Was a fender in a rock and roll band I can't pull no car apart but I can fix a broken heart And we could watch our dreams from where we stand One acre land
Let's make a little noise for Mr. Derek Holquist, who is just up here making some music. <laughs> We've been torn the East Coast together, and, and it's been a fabulous time, and he's such a great person and such a great voice and such a great songwriter. It's been a real pleasure to get to hear him every night, and I'm glad that he's out here with me. So I'm gonna do a really stupid thing right now uh, because I, I've had this song in my head all day. I got to visit with uh, one of my grandmothers today and I'm gonna get to visit my other grandmother while I'm here. I try to squeeze in some, some family time while I'm in the area. I've had this song in my head and I love this song. I've never sang it before so I have these printed lyrics and I'm just gonna be really honest with you right now. I printed out a cover song to play for you tonight and uh, there's a, I hear myself. <laughs> This sounds so good. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> wow. Bring that thing up on the mic. We'll just hear it. Nailed it. So basically what I'm telling you is I have to read these lyrics and there's 95% chance I'm going to screw this song up. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. Go for it. Absolutely. Okay. Then we're good. Just dare to suck. That's what I always say. <laughs> I'm going to steal a piece of tape here. I know this is thrilling radio. <laughs> I think this is on the radio right now. This is even hor more horrible for them. <laughs> Let's see here. Everyone stay with me. This will be over soon. <laughs> Get it out of my system. I've been in a car for three weeks. <laughs> All right, I can't even read that. <laughs> my wife will hold it for you. <laughs> if someone could just stand right <laughs> Oh, this is going to be painful, but I have to do it for some reason. <laughs> you guys are so patient. I think I know the song after singing it for so long in my head.
Grandma's hands used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hands picked me up each time I fell. Grandma's hands, boy, they really came in handy. She'd say, Man, and don't you whip that boy? What you want to spank him for? He don't drop no apple core, but I don't have grandma anymore. When I get to heaven, I'll search for grandma. If you're 